Hey everybody, Big AZ here. Today we're talking about hard way bets and the math behind it and what should you do. Well, hard way bets do have a high house edge. Hard six, hard eight has actually a house edge, guys, of 9.09%. Yeah, 9% house edge on six eight. A 410, 4 or 10 has a house edge, guys, of 11.11%. So a little more than 11% house edge on the 410. I'm going to tell you why I prefer the 410 over the 6.8. I know the 410 has a higher house edge, guys. A lot of times people will say in the gambling industry, these are sucker bets because the house edge is so high. I get it. I understand it. Let's just explain why I believe the 410 is the better play. Now, what happens with a hard way bet? Well, a hard way bet is not a one way roll, guys. Not a one bet bet. One roll bet. It's not a one roll bet. On this board, these are hot bets are one roll, horn bets are one roll, any crap is one roll. Field bet is any one roll, but not the hard ways. Some people get that confused. Hard way is not a one roll bet, okay? When do I lose on a hard way bet? Well, say the point is five. And you say, dealer, you know what, I want a hard four dealer. And I want a hard eight, please. Hard four, hard eight, please. Now, your bet stays up there until you roll a number. Boom, we roll a five, three. That's an eight, right? But it's not a hard eight, so now you lose your bet. Now you have to go back up if you want it back up. Okay? So it stays. The hard four here stays. Until when? Well, either an easy four, which means it's not a two-two, or any seven is rolled. Okay. Now, let's let's get into this. If I want to bet a hard way, yes, I strongly suggest, folks. I strongly suggest bet at least this amount or more on the number. We're going to say do at least two units on the number, okay? You're going to give the dealer money. This is where the dealer, the dealer will put these chips out there for you. You throw the chips to the dealer, and you say, I would like 12 on the 8, please, and 10 on the 4. Because we want to use these bets not as standalone bets. We don't want to have these as standalone bets. We want to use these propositional bets as extra bonus bets, right? We want to call these bonus bets. If an easy eight is rolled again, for example, this time I've got money on the eight, that's going to pay me $14, okay? You're going to lose the eight, but if I put it back, out of the winnings, I still made $9, guys. Okay? So you still made a little bit of money, and you keep your bet going. If you don't have the 8 up there, you're going to lose $5 every single time. My suggestion is at least have double the value in the place bet as you do on the hard way bet. Just my suggestion. Now, let me explain to you why I believe doing a 4 or a 10 makes some sense here. It really does, in my opinion. Okay, let me explain. I know I've got crazy thoughts. If, let, 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 let's go over this. Let me, let me explain it this way, guys. Let me explain. There's different payoffs here, too. Why are there, all right, I got so many things to talk about. 
If you notice, the hard 6, 8 pay you 9 to 1. The hard 4 and 10 pay you 7 to 1. Hmm, why is that? You really have to think about this, because you would think to yourself, oh, wow, 6s and 8s are rolled a lot more than 4s and 10s. Well, you're absolutely right. So why in the world does that pay 9 to 1, and why in the world does that pay 7 to 1? Well, the reason why the 9s, this is 9 to 1, and the reason why this is only 7 to 1 is why. Let me show you mathematically. How do I roll a 6? We're going to just go with 6 for now. I can roll a 5-1. I could roll a 1-5. I could roll a 2-4. I could roll a 4-2. I could roll a 3-3. Three, three. So we have five ways to roll a 6. The hard way is one of those five ways. How do I roll a 4? I could roll a 4, 1, 3, 3, 1, or 2, 2. The hard way is one in three opportunities. A 6 or an 8, if you roll a 6 or 8 once, probability says, once out of every 5 rolls, you'll get the hard way. So think about that. You're going to lose this prop bet 4 out of 5 times. Okay? 4 losses, that's 20 bucks. Yikes. You're only going to win this bet once out of every 5 Quote, five rolls, probability says, if you roll an eight. How many eights do you need to roll to hit a hard way? Five times you need to roll eights. Probability says once you'll get a hard way. A four or a ten, there are three combinations to roll. So for you to hit a four, we're working on the four right now, a four, every three times you roll that four, probability says, once will be a hard four. Now, we all know a four and ten are much harder to hit. Place bets, much harder to hit. We get it. I understand that. No, most of you understand that. But if you're going to ever play the four and the ten guys, I strongly suggest play the hard way. Because every time you roll a four or roll a ten, Every three times, you're going to pop a hard way. Why not take that extra little bonus baby on top of it? In my opinion, every three rolls, you're going to get seven times your money. Up here, every five rolls, you're going to get nine times your money. In my opinion, the four and the ten are the much smarter play. Now, not necessarily smarter. But if I'm playing the 4 and the 10, you might as well play the hard ways because you got a 1 and 3 shot of hitting it and hitting your number up top. And you got a double bonus, baby. you got to love the double bonuses. you got to. The double dippers. That's why we play the game. I strongly suggest playing the hard 4 and 10. Now, are you going to make more money on your place bets on the 8? Six, absolutely. You know, I get it. The only thing I'm trying to tell you guys, if you play the four and the tens, if you play the bookends, you got to play the hard four and ten. Just because once out of every three times, you're going to pop the hard way. What a great way to do this. Let me show you. Say you start, we'll say a $15 four. And you get a $5 hard four. And say you're going to play for two hours at the craps table. I'm, I'm, we're just throwing it out there, right? The first, we're just going to track of when a four is rolled, right? If we roll a four, up, oh, we lost this, right? You're going to win over there. We get it. But you lost this. So, in my opinion, my opinion, what I believe, just what I think, 
That's one side of three. Okay? I'm going to bump it up now to seven. Well, why am I going to do that? Why are you doing that big AZ? Well, probability says every time you roll a four, once out of three times, it's going to be a hard four. Why not bump it up? If you're going to play for two hours, it's going to hit eventually. Eventually. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> you never know about good old probability. Probability is what it is on paper. That doesn't mean that's what the dice are going to do. If you play a 4 and 10 consistently, you play the bookends 4 and 10, you got to play the hard way. And I suggest a progressive hard way bet. Say the next time you roll, it's another 1 3. Well, you know, if you're tracking, if you're tracking the rolls, we got a 1 3, you got a 3 1. Man, oh man, probability says it's due. You lost, but you won money up there. So now you went from a $7 bet. Now you're going to go to a $10 bet. Guess what? The next time you roll the dice, boom, 1-3 again. Man, son of a gun, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's frustrating. I get it. But you still have more up on the number than you do in the hard way action. As you keep playing, I would bump it up. Now we're going to go to 12. Boom. 1, 3 again. Wow, that's frustrating, huh? Well, I would say because you're winning on the number, right? I, next, I would go to 15. Screw it. Probability says it's going to happen one out of three times. Yeah, you've had some tough luck here. Eventually, the longer you play probability gets closer and closer to probability the longer and longer you play. So if you're going to play the 4 and the 10, I strongly suggest you do a progressive hard 4 or hard 10 strategy, in my opinion. Because once every three times you roll that number, you're going to hit the hard way. That's, that's the math. It's the math behind it, guys. It is what it is. Math is math. You know, you've played some hour sessions. You played an hour and never hit a hard four or ten. And you played another time you played an hour and you hit six hard fours or hard tens. It happens. It's never consistent. But over time, over a month, six months, a year, five years, a lifetime of craps, probability says once every three times you roll a four or ten, it's going to be a hard 4 or 10, right? Once every three three times you roll a 4 or a 10, you're going to get a hard 4. That's just the math. If I was going to play the 6 or 8 consistently, and I'm not talking about my Vegas videos where I'm on vacation. I'm talking about my local casino. If you were going to grind it out twice a week for all year long, I would keep the 6 and 8, in my opinion, at a certain bet amount. Say you're going to do two bucks on each. I would keep it at that same amount throughout, unless you're tracking it and it gets way crazy, right? If it gets way crazy above probability, right? If you're tracking the 6-8 hard, right? And you realize one out of five times you're supposed to hit, and it's up to like nine rolls that you've hit a 6 without a hard way, then I maybe would progressively start going up. But if it's not at least 9 or 10 rolls, I would keep it the same wager, my friends. I just would. Because you're going to lose this bet 4 out of 5 times, it's going to come down. Yes, you're going to win up here, but 4 out of 5 times you're going to lose this. Versus down here on the 4 10, 2 out of 3 times, Two out of three times you're going to lose this wager. I'm okay doing a progressive 4-10 because probability says every three times I'm going to hit one. Versus every five times. I don't like 20%. I like 33.3% much better. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, again, if you're playing the hard ways, I strongly suggest, and again, this is just my opinion, my feelings, 
looking at the math and probability, yes, you're going to make a lot of money placing the 6 and 8. I get it. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying don't play the hard 6 or 8. I'm not saying any of that. All I'm saying is if you don't really play hard weight bets and you do ever put money on the 4 and 10, why the heck not are you not doing the hard 4 and 10? If you're playing the 10, or say you're playing the come bet, right? You're playing the come, and it gets moved to the 10. Shoot, you want to make money. You're only getting even money on that bet right now instead of 9 to 5. Horrible bet on a, on a 4 or 10. That's a horrible bet right now. Horrible bet right now. Well, what could you do? Well, you got 15 on the come bet. Even money. Yikes. Shoot. Put a nickel on the hard 10. What the hell do you have to lose? Yes, you can put odds up here. Right? You can put odds on it. You can, you can put 50 odds on it, but you're going to lose an extra 50 bucks. Here, you put a nickel. I mean, you lose a nickel, but you have a shot to win $35. Just my opinion. If you have money at any time on the 4 or 10, you gotta, you, you, you have to, in my opinion, push yourself to put something on the four ten, hard. Just for that bonus, baby, that double dipper bonus. Because four ten, every time it's, every three times they gets rolled, you're gonna hit it once per probability. Okay. That's Big AZ's advice today. If you're ever going to play the 4 and 10, use the 4 and 10 hard. Yeah, it has an 11.11% .11 house edge. What well, doesn't have a big house edge anymore at the casino? You want the 10 anyway? Play the damn hard 10. I just don't want you to see, I don't want to see a player do that. Hey, I'm going to play a hard 10. When you have, you got to have double at least this, double that on the 10. Because if you lose this, you want to at least make enough money to put it back, plus a little bit of your rack. Well, yeah, that's that's what I believe you should do with the hard weight wagers, especially the 4 and 10. Okay? Yes, the house edge on the 6 is less at 9.09%. .09%, but in my opinion, the 4 10 is a much smarter play. When you play the hard ways. All right, everybody. I do appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. Thank you so much, Blue Ranch Crew. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hey, remember, one last thing. Let the seven work for you guys. Stop trying to beat the dang seven. Stay safe out there, my friends. Have a great day.